You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video, and by NewTek, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey folks, welcome back to our continuing coverage here at 2014 CES Live in Las Vegas. We are live, John. Nevada. We are not dead. I'm John P. I'm Renee Ritchie. And we have Fadi from uh, Power by Proxy. That is an interesting name. Yeah, we... How uh, did that come how about? How did that come out? Great, great question. We, um, wireless power is a, it's a proximity-based technology, so... Now I'm getting it. Now you're getting it. Now so I'm it's actually a, a play on power by proximity. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, I love it. So we're going to actually talk about wireless power. Absolutely. Something very near and dear to my heart, Renee. It's the last cord to be cut, right? You cut everything else, you still have that power cable. I know, it just maddening. pisses me off. It's maddening. Constantly. So we're working on it. <laughs> One device at a time. So, yes. Um, so we've got some really exciting stuff that we've been, uh, we've been working on. And um, you guys uh, obviously are uh, very keen on your tech gadgets. <laughs> and I'm sure you have hundreds of them that chew through, through, through batteries on a regular basis. They do indeed. Basis and, so how does, how does like the idea of power traveling through the air is fascinating. How does it actually work? Yeah. Is so it lightning bolts? <laughs> uh, not, 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 not quite, but it, it uses magnetic fields. So we generate magnetic fields and that's what we use to get the power across the air gap. So do you have to have a special phone, a special battery, a special case? How do I get that juice from you into my phone? Yeah. So our ultimate goal is, is that this, this technology is built into the phone. Um, today you can buy um, some phones with that technology built in already. Um, I think my little Samsung has it built in. Although it. I've got this yeah. crazy battery uh, that we got from our sponsors, uh, Sadio. Yeah. It's a really giant battery. But I think this battery, I'm not sure, this may actually have, have wireless NFC it. in it. My or, Palm and, uh, had wireless and maybe wireless, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Could do. So a lot of the, the um, phones there, you can add the feature just by buying a, a different back cover or by buying some sort of a case or sleeve that has the, the wireless charging receiver built in. Um, but what, what we've kind of been working on is, is a next generation. And one of the things that's really frustrating is you, you, need, you have many electronic devices and it would be nice to be able to just charge them all in the same place rather yep. than having to carry around wall wards for every single one. Yes. So what we've developed is something a bit different to the current um, um, crop of wireless charging solutions available in the market. Um, today's solutions are all one-to-one. -one. So you have one transmitter, uh, yep. one receiver. So if you have multiple devices, you're going to have multiple. You have to have 12 different things to lay them on 18 or whatever. touchstones in a row. Yeah. Yeah. Which is really not so that much better than a different cable yeah. for every one of them. That, that, that's right. So we've been really focused on developing um, multi-device charging uh, to address that problem. And that's what I've got here to, nice. to, uh, to, to show you. So Is that this big white tablet that we're looking at? This big white tablet thing over here. So um, this is a um, spatially free transmitter. Um, it allows you to charge a phone with a, with a wireless power receiver inside it. Um, just by placing it anywhere you like on the pad. Uh, it doesn't matter where Is you that what you mean by spatially free? Like yeah, there's not like free. a like a little round area right here that we have to put it you on to you line just put it, it anywhere. Carefully. Exactly. You can just put it anywhere. If okay. you want to uh, if you want to put it right on the edge of the pad, uh, you can do that. Um, if you'd like to charge in that position there. Right. So it doesn't really matter where you put it. You can put Wireless it anywhere charger. on the surface of this pad and it'll recharge. So no precise alignment is required, which is one big advantage of these resonant type systems. And secondly, um, you can charge as many devices as you want on this thing. As many as you can fit on it. As many as you can fit on it. This particular one here was designed to charge three uh, Galaxy phones. Um, th this, was, this was just a particular design, but you can have two bays, four bays, ten bays. How many do you want, John? Could you make the whole table <laughs> yes. into one? I mean, <laughs> seriously, that's what—that's kind of one of the one of the big things that I'd love to see is: Are we going to one day have the ability to to kind of have the whole countertop be a charger, if you will? 
I mean, a absolutely. And if you want to lend me your table, I'll... Right, uh, you go I'll and uh, <laughs> carve into it and do all that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, just don't ask for it back, maybe. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, ultimately, our vision is to create uh, ubiquity of charging so that you no longer need to carry power cables and cords with you. Anywhere you go, you'll have access to surfaces and walls that have uh, these wireless charging transmitters built in. So anywhere you work, anywhere you play, anywhere you travel, you'll have access to power charging stations just like you do Wi-Fi today. My cup holder in my car, John. That would be great because you drop your phone, anywhere you drop your phone down in there, you, you want it. to be able. Yeah. So let me ask you one question because I've seen in the past with certain of these devices, like let's say, you know, Samsung Galaxy S4, you can, it doesn't come with it, but I know there's a back that you can snap onto it. It's got two little contact points. That's right. Snap that on, right. bang. Now it's got like some kind of little coil in it or something. Yeah, there's some electronics, there's a receiving circuit and a coil in that back cover. And that's what enables the wireless power to be received from a transmitter. Right. And used to charge the battery. Okay, so then you lay that on top of uh, and the ones that I've never seen a big one like this, I love this, yeah. I've seen the little individual yeah. ones. And yeah. I've also noticed that they're all rated for a particular amount of output, like yeah. maybe yeah, 500 was, milliamps, yeah. or yeah. I think maybe I saw one that was like one amp. Is yeah. it, What's the deal with the, because especially if you have something like a note with a big battery or a tablet, those are big devices, yeah. big batteries. That they take a long time to charge if it's only charging at, let's say, 500 milliamps. Yeah. That, so that's right. talk about that a little yeah. bit. So that's a really important point. And, and one of our fundamental beliefs is we have to charge as fast as a wired charger. It's not good enough to charge at half the speed or quarter speed. If I'm used to my phone charging in two and a half hours, I'm not going to wait five hours or six yeah. hours to charge it wirelessly. So you'll notice here we have um, two uh, Galaxy S4s and we have one Galaxy S3. Uh, the S3 uses five watts, uh, the S4s draw seven and a half watts. So we supply the phone with the, ma the maximum power as it's much capable as it of receiving to, rechar to charge at the same speed as a wired charger. And as a user, I don't have to worry what my phone takes. I can just put it down, oh no, that's a seven watt, I can't put this on this you, bumper. You don't need to think about it. The, the, the charging pad is intelligent enough to work out what power to deliver where. And your charging pad can put out, if we put three of, which, which phone, draws the absolute most, which one can charge the fastest? Um, like an S4 or something, is um, that about the top? The, the, the thing with some of these phones, so this is a seven and a half watt phone, but it's also because it has a much better, bigger battery uh, oh, yeah. than, the, than the S3. Um, so the seven and a half watts still gives you a similar charge time to the S3. Right, okay, but if you put three seven and a half watt ones, this pad can give all three of them their maximum yeah, current? Yeah, absolutely. It's got plenty yeah, of in, in reserve, if you will. It's got plenty in reserve. And and different pads will be designed for different um, different power levels. Uh -huh. So you want your whole, uh, your, your table. whole <laughs> table to do it. So We're going to need a little more power for that. We're going to need a little bit more power. But the platform we've developed allows you to do that. So in certain installations, say a car for example, you're probably not going to be charging more than maybe two devices yeah. um, in the center console. Uh, in other applications, your your kitchen counter. Restaurant uh, table. Restaurant tables, you, you might be charging more. So you could have several devices yeah. laying all over it. You could have several devices. So the, the platform's scalable. We can make big pads, small pads, um, we can do them in different shapes and sizes as well. One of the things that, uh, that I brought along to show you as well is um, we've actually managed it's to a integrate battery. Yeah. Uh, the most common battery in the world, not just, uh, not just any battery. It's uh, a double A battery. Most common battery in the world. And this battery here has one of our wireless power receivers you're kidding embedded me. inside it. No, wow. it doesn't. <laughs> I want to open it up now. Wait, you're telling me if you put that on here, it's going to charge? This one requires a, a three-dimensional charger. Oh, okay. So, the you drop it in a little you sleeve? You drop it in a little sleeve, or something like we were talking about, Renee, yeah. about the center the console in the absolutely. car. Absolutely. Something that's not going to be a flat surface. Um, you charge your shapes like that are really suited to three-dimensional charging. Um, things like wearable, wearable devices as well. Um, new smart watches, uh, heart rate monitors. Drop them in a little spent. cup that, do, so uh, let me ask you a theoretical question then. Could you, could you, let's say you had eight, you know, because you never use just one of these batteries. You'd use like three or four or eight, okay? If I had a whole bunch of them, could you have a little cup 
or a little container, and I just literally drop them in it. Yeah. I just randomly yep. just drop them in it, I've, and they'd I'm all charge. Cup. They'd all charge. I and I've got exactly that. I'd love to show it to you at. Uh, at why? Our booth, uh, why at do our we not sometime? have every now. single human needs those everywhere right now? I have one one thing I wanted to know, Stilly. Uh, is this like cords where there's different varieties? Like I have a Thunderbolt cable or a, a USB. Is there one standard yet for wireless charging? Uh, uh, unfortunately, no. Uh, and and that's part of the what's delaying mass market adoption at the moment. There are, th there are three standards groups at the moment. Um, we support the Wireless Power Consortium, uh, who's developed the Qi standard. Um, and that's the one that we are uh, That's the one I'm familiar with. Yeah. That's the one we've tried, you know. Yeah. And, and the, uh, that's on the Samsungs and all that. Yeah. And funny comment in the, uh, in the uh, chat room. Thank you, Nikola Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, actually, my, my title is Chief Tesla Officer. So. Nice, <laughs> nice. So, um, uh, can people? What can people buy from you right now? And what if I wanted a special one made? Like, what if I wanted a restaurant and a feature was going to be you can lay your devices on all of our tables yeah. and they're all pro they'll charge anything you yeah. put on them? Do you guys do that? What's available? Yeah, I'd, I'd love to sell you something, but um, <laughs> <laughs> we, we're a not quite there yet. No, we're we're, oh, we're okay. there. We're there, but we're not. We're a technology company, so you're licensing it out. We okay. license it out. So uh, towards the end of last year, we announced a major partnership with Samsung. Um, the early this year, actually at the start of CES, we announced a major license agreement with Texas Instruments. Oh, nice. So um, we license out our technology to uh, IC manufacturers and OEMs who ultimately will create the final products based on this technology and IP. Is, is there a point in the future where we won't need proximity anymore that I can just put it there and you, this device could be on that side of the table and it'll still be close enough to get me my power? Yeah. I like you, so I wouldn't let you in that room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be a little dangerous with all that yeah. current flowing around, wouldn't yeah. it? it? It's, um, it, you know, it's, uh, it's something that is, uh, we are bound by the laws of the laws physics. Of physics yeah. uh, and, Stupid and Why physics. can't we just get around those? <laughs> Stupid I mean, physics. I was always a cheater in school. Yeah, I, I don't mean, know physics, it shouldn't apply to me. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just start with your table. Oh yeah, we'll start with the table. <laughs> cool, well thank you so much yeah. for coming and sharing that with us. It's thank very you. exciting stuff. You guys, speaking of excitement, if you stick around, we've got a lot more exciting stuff coming. Absolutely, we have a whole day for exciting stuff. <laughs> well, at least another half a day. Yeah. All right, we'll be back with more later, guys. Stick around. <laughs>